Well, hello YouTubers. Today we'll go and see uh, Peter Scott's lighthouse at Sutton Bridge. Church is getting filled up. Looks like I'm going to miss it today. That's eight years on the trot, I think. This is uh, Walton here, West Walton. 300 years ago, all this was underwater. Anything with uh, starting with WAL, like Walton, Walpole, Wall Soaken. That's all the old seawall villages. I didn't put a vlog up last week and the camera went wrong and it was just a, a horrible weekend really. Um, my best koi carp, I had to end up killing it because uh, its swim bladder went and that was a story in itself. I, I went to the aquatic centre, I wanted to buy some koi sedate so I could gently send it to sleep and die. And the woman tried to sell me some basically acid. It would kill it, but it'd be in a lot of pain, so I end up going to. Oh, there's a little squirrel. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Kingsling Koi. And uh, the woman was just shutting up shop, but she was in a car and she opened up for me, got me the stuff, Koi Sedate, and uh, I slowly put it to sleep. I had it from. It was only two inches long when I bought it, and, and it was uh, half a metre long when I killed it pretty upsetting really oh yeah I've got to say a few uh, shirts it's uh, Len Scapoff and Lewis who Lewis uh, keeps commenting through my son and also uh, the uh, Nottingham Mirror Space course, they're all watching. They won't be learning anything, will they? But they're watching. Uh, and Len always uh, gives me a good comment, which I like. So if you want to comment, just comment below. Say anything, really. I was going to talk about my friend today I used to work with and uh, his name was Daisy big six foot muscular 15 stone man no fat on him and I used to work with him and uh, he got ill and he got terminal cancer anyway a lovely man gentle joint he was and I went to see him about two weeks before he died and oh, it's pitiful to see a man about seven stone. Wait, it's just skin on bone. It's terrible. And I said to my father, I don't think I can go around there anymore, Dad. And he said, Well, don't. If it upsets you that much, don't go around there. So I didn't go around there, and he, he died. And um, I thought I'd better go around and see his wife Sue, and um, before the funeral, just to make sure everything's okay. And I went round, and she said, Do you want a coffee? I said I'd love one, I love my coffee, so she made me a coffee and she said the doctor had put on some happy pills and she was a bit, a bit fuzzy and uh, she made me this coffee, she said go and sit in, in the lands there, go and sit in there with Daisy and I thought you're crapping up, cracking up woman, so anyway I opened the door, walked in, oh, I couldn't believe it, there, there he lay in an open coffin, oh. so I sat there and I tried to drink this coffee and I couldn't drink it. I kept sleeping down into this chair and all I could see was his nose in the end and I just couldn't drink I was looking around for a bloody plant pot to tip this bloody coffee in. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit of a story there, isn't it? So... Okay, I'll tell you another story about him. We were working away from home and we used to share rooms to make it a bit cheaper. 
and we had this young lad start with us and then he weren't very clean anyway we're up the pub and he said I don't trust that young lad he said you know he ain't got a lot of money he don't wash himself and he said I'm gonna hoard my money and I said I already have he said have you I said yeah he said you'll never find it where I've hid it where you hid it then I said under the soap He gave me some stick about that. Anyway, we're on the way to Peter Scott's lighthouse. He started the World Wildlife Fund and the Wildfowl and Wetland Trust. And he used to live in a lighthouse right on the, the east bank, uh, right near the wash on the River Neen. But it was totally different then. He went to war, he come back and he he sold it because uh, he put some ponds down there and uh, when he come back they reclaimed more land and basically destroyed all his ponds for his, his wildfowl so he weren't very happy so I think he then moved everything to Slimbridge Well, this is the east bank of the River Neen. Just the other side is Lincolnshire. Up ahead is the Sutton Bridge Power Station and the Sutton Bridge Swing Bridge, which I'll go over. I'll tell you the reason I'm going over that. I nearly had an accident years ago. I went straight across this junction, this T, T junction, and uh, a car was going that fast across the bridge, it nearly took me out. So I always now turn left go over the bridge, round the roundabout and come back. You know, it's not worth killing yourself over for a hundred yards. Well, here's a swing bridge, if you can see it. This used to be a railway bridge years ago. Still works as well, this swing bridge. Well, here we go then. So we'll be heading straight over there, but like I said, I'm, I'm not going that way. Okay, cattle grid. Here we are. 